which of the following is a basic amino acid and the options are arginine the next option is serine the next option is threonine and the last option is cysteine students in this question we are given with four amino acids and we have to identify which of the given is a basic amino acid and for this question we need to know that if in a amino acid the number of carboxyl groups and the number of amino groups are equal then that particular amino acid is a neutral in nature and if the number of carboxyl groups are more or are greater than the number of amino groups then that particular amino acid is acidic in nature and if the number of amino groups are greater than the number of carboxyl group then that particular amino acid is basic in nature among the given options arginine is a basic amino acid let's consider the structure of arginine this is arginine you can clearly see that the number of amino groups are greater than the number of carboxyl groups as a result this amino acid is basic in nature that means the correct answer is option number a moving to the next question a mixture of h2 and o2 gases in a cylinder contains 10 g h2 and 64 g o2 if the total pressure of the mixture of the gases in the cylinder is 35 bar the partial pressure of the h2 gas is the options are 2 bar 5 bar 25 bar or 20 bar students in this question we have to calculate the partial pressure of h2 where we are given with a mixture of gases and the gases are h2 and o2 we are also given with the masses of h2 and o2 and we are also given with the total pressure so first of all i am writing the data which we are already given so we are given with the total pressure which is equals to 35 bar we are also given with the mass of h2 and the mass of o2 the mass of h2 was 10 g and the mass of o2 given was 64 g now students we have to calculate the partial pressure of h2 gas and there's a formula for that so partial pressure of h2 is equals to mole fraction of h2 multiplied by total pressure now we have to calculate the mole fraction of h2 so mole fraction of h2 is equals to number of moles of h2 upon total number of moles that is number of moles of h2 plus number of moles of o2 so number of moles of h2 is equals to given mass upon molar mass since we know the formula to calculate number of moles so given mass is 10 molar mass is 2 again 10 divided by 2 plus 64 since the given mass of oxygen is 64 and its molar mass is 32 so 5 upon 5 plus 2 which is equals to 5 upon 7 so students we have to put this value in this equation so 5 upon 7 into 35 is equals to 25 bar that means the partial pressure of h2 gas in the mixture is is 25 bar that means the correct answer is option number c moving to the next question let's read it which of the following is a type of partition chromatography the options are thin layer chromatography next is paper chromatography next is column chromatography and the last option is adsorption chromatography so students here thin layer chromatography and column chromatography are types of adsorption chromatography and paper chromatography is a type of partition chromatography that means the correct answer is option number b moving to the next question for the reaction caco3 solid gives cao solid plus co2 gas the correct option is the options are number a delta rh greater than 0 and delta rs greater than 0 the next option is delta rh greater than 0 and delta rs less than 0 the next option is delta rh less than 0 and delta rs less than 0 and the last option is delta rh less than 0 and delta rs greater than 0 student you can clearly see that the question is very easy but here the best part is that the options are very confusing so take a particular amount of time to solve this question right 
So let's start this question. So here we can clearly see that the number of gaseous particles or we can say the number of gaseous moles are increasing. As a result, we can clearly say that delta Rs is greater than 0. Now we have to talk about the enthalpy. Since this is a decomposition reaction and we all know that decomposition reactions are endothermic in nature. That means delta Rh is also greater than 0. That means the correct answer is option number A. Moving to the next question. Let's read the question students. Urea reacts with water to form A which will decompose to form B. B when passed through CO3 plus aqueous yellow colored solution C is formed. What is the formula of C? The options are CO NH3 whole 6 3 plus. The next option is COO. The next is CO2 SO4 whole 3 and the last option is CO3 O4. So students here in this question we are given with a series of reactions and we have to identify the final product which is yellow in color. So first of all we are given with urea. Urea is NH2 CO NH2. This when reacts with water it gives a compound A and A is NH4 whole twice CO3. This is A. Now student this on decomposition gives another compound B. So B is ammonia. This is B. Along with this the compounds are formed is CO2 and a molecule of water. Now student this ammonia on reaction with CO3 plus forms a compound C which is yellow in color. So Ammonia when reacts with CO3 plus it forms a complex CO NH3 whole 6 2 plus. This is a C and this is yellow in color. That means the final products of formed is given in option A. Moving to the next question. 